Hello and welcome to Musings by Amit. If you are new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and you are watching Musings with Software Engineer. Since I am working on language which has less scope, how to improve my practical skills on languages which has good scope. Now without, uh, so Praveen, uh, there are 150 programming languages, okay? Out of that, people only know about the top 20 programming languages, okay, which are popular. And if you see out of the top 20, you see the 19th or 20th language, you will feel, oh, nobody knows about these programming languages. But these programming languages are widely used. When I'm saying there are 150 programming languages, these are all the programming languages in use. It is not the programming language that is important. It is what you do with that programming language that is important. For example, there is one company which has a product, okay, which has a workflow product. And this workflow product is built on Smalltalk. Smalltalk is a programming language. Okay, so the entire company, all the engineers are on Smalltalk. Maybe there may be very few companies which are using Smalltalk today. But this company is using Smalltalk. Okay, but their application, okay, their application is known throughout the industry. Their application has a lot of value for workflows, for process flows throughout the industry. Lot of companies use their application because programming language behind the application does not matter. Now, if the company wants to change from that to some other programming language because they are getting some more benefits, then the company can do it. So don't worry about the programming language. Think about what you are doing with the programming language. Are you able to build really good applications with the existing programming language that you know? Even if you know only one programming language, but you are a master of that programming language, then you could make an entire career in the software industry. Because right from beginning, whatever programming languages are there, none of them have become extinct. Every programming language is still used. C, C++ is still used. Java programming language started in 1995 and it is being still used. Okay. Uh, PHP programming language, very old programming language, still used. Objective C was used only by Apple for Apple products. It's still in use. Uh, now they are using Swift, which is again uh, another programming language which is very unique to Apple products. Okay, so programming language is not important. What applications you develop on the programming language is very important. Okay, so don't think about it like that. You improve your knowledge. Even after that you feel, then you have to go and whichever programming language you think there is a lot of scope. Because according to me, if the programming language exists, then there are people who are using that programming language. And in fact, if you are not in popular programming language, then your salary will be high. Then you don't have to face a lot of competition. You will be unique, but you have to become a master of that programming language. Okay. So you have a uniqueness. You're competing with less number of people. Are you getting my point? Okay, so anything that 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 has less people, you, there is less competition. So you are in kind of a blue ocean. Okay, it's kind of you are in a unique programming language where you should then focus on that programming language. Okay, this is my suggestion, but you can decide if you don't like the programming language, then you have to learn and you have to switch from there. Everyone make sure that you subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you will get the update. Share my video as much as possible because I'm targeting 100,000 subscribers on my channel. So thank you very much. See you in the next live on Thursday at 9.05 p.m.